Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the very basic, very simple refrigeration cycle. So you see that we only have four components on the screen, two of which change the pressure, and two of which are going to be the heat exchangers. The compressor increases the pressure, whereas the metering device decreases the pressure. In the case of an air conditioning system, you're going to have the evaporator absorbing heat from the building and the condenser rejecting heat from the building. So the compressor has low pressure, low temperature vapor refrigerator entering, and it has high pressure, high temperature vapor exiting. And then you have the refrigerant entering the condenser, and this is where you have a phase change, otherwise known as a saturated state. Now the refrigerant is going to be able to reject heat because of the change in state. Then it comes out as a high pressure, high temperature liquid. The high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant enters the metering device, and then it exits the metering device as a low pressure, low temperature liquid. This is due to the very small opening within the metering device that lowers the pressure of the refrigerant. Then the refrigerant enters the evaporator as a low pressure, low temperature liquid refrigerant. It absorbs heat energy while it's changing in state, and then it turns into a low pressure, low temperature vapor. Then you have the low pressure, low temperature vapor entering the compressor, and then the refrigeration cycle starts all over again. If you want to learn more about the refrigeration cycle, check out our book, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning Book. We have that link down in the description section below. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.